What's going on, guys? I'm going to do a lure review this week on a, um, this is going to be the Daiwa TD Minnow. I'm kind of breaking up from the top water that we just got done doing, and we're going to be going into square bills here in another week. And uh, I had this this minnow that I've saved for a little while that I've wanted to I've wanted to review for you guys. It's kind of a an older an older minnow. It's a little harder to find, but I wanted to show it to you guys just in case uh, anybody kind of stumbles across it. That way, you guys can snag them up because it's a really cool minnow. And um, just in case you ever find it, you can snag it up off the shelf and find yourself a little hidden gem. So let's take a look at it. Okay guys, so the Daiwa TD Minnow has has a few different styles. For this review, I'm going to be focusing on just one, which are the two that you see in front of you. Uh, I even saved the package just so you guys can see what they look like. Um, now the TD Minnows, they all come with this different packaging. This is this is their older, this is the, the Daiwa's older packaging. So if you guys ever see these, then you're going to find something pretty good. Um, they're right on par with like the Lucky Craft stuff. Um, in fact, something that I'll share with you that I found online from uh, BassDozer.com. They're saying that um, this lure designer, I think his, his name is pronounced uh, Saiji or Seiji Kato, um, designed this lure. And to his credit, I guess he's designed the Pointer by Lucky Craft, the Stacy by Lucky Craft. Um, I guess he's worked on um, other crankbaits with with Lucky Craft as well. He is uh, working on different crankbaits with um, with Jackal. So the, the guy's got a lot of a lot of a lot of good lures under his belt. And so, bottom line, you're gonna this is gonna be a very high quality bait. I picked it up for really really cheap too. And uh, from everything, that I, there's not a lot of literature on the internet about it. So, um, but if you find something about it, because uh, everything that I did find on the internet was that it's it's they're hard to find and they're pretty desirable. So, uh, if you guys find this this gold and black packaging, just take a second and check it out because uh, I think you guys might be pretty happy to find what you'll to, to uh, you might be pretty happy to to see what you're gonna get. So this is what the back of the package looks like. So I've been holding on to these packages for months, you guys. I've been trying to do this review for a while <clears throat> and I'm so happy to be able to get rid of them now. <laughs> so anyway, I'll go over the specs of this minnow with you. Um, this is the 1121 SP. Uh, it has a weight of 9 sixteenths of an ounce and a length of four and three quarters of an inch. And it has a diving depth of three feet plus. And it, it is suspending. Now for me, I found that it's more of a, a slow floater. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty genuine suspend. And then I definitely wouldn't put it in the floating class, but it does have a slow float to it. Kind of like a, like an X wrap, like they'll slowly float up to the top. So, and it's a very shallow diving crankbait, which, or rip bait which is why I like it because um, I was looking for something that had a really sh uh, small lip on it but that had a good darting action and then I saw these and started reading into them and I went back and picked them up. One of the coolest things you're going to find out about this is this weight transfer system. You can see through this one, th this bait a little bit you see this big tungsten barrel in the middle of it that's that's on this wire and it just slides very extremely smooth from front to rear. Now, when it's in the back, obviously it's gonna help for casting, and then when you start cranking it, it's gonna go to the front and it's gonna help it rake forward like that, which is the profile that the fish like to see for whatever reason that is. This thing casts a mile and it casts like a bullet. It's probably one of the longest casting lures that I have. If I wanna get, if I wanna unravel my, my bait caster, this would probably be one of the lures that I would choose, like this or or a spook or something like that. Something that I can cast, you know, 180 feet, 200 feet. This thing casts a long way. So for for me to say that it's one of my best casting lures, let alone be a jerk bait, that's something to be said. So you're gonna get a a lot of work out of this bait from from a single cast. 
and I think it is tungsten in there, and it's got two bushings on either side of it. You can barely see them. They're kind of greenish on the re on the rear and on the front, so that's why you don't really hear any clicking when it goes from front to back. So that's pretty cool. And there's no rattles in this thing at all. Um, it's got a little tiny ball up front, right behind the eye. Um, and while we're up front here, you can see that it's got uh, these 3D holographic eyes, and this one's got that shad dot on it. And it's got some pretty good detail on it with the, uh, it's got some raised gill plates on it, and it has um, etched scale pattern. This one says Daiwa TD Minnow SP on it. Relatively large, very sharp hooks. I wish I knew the size of these. I would say that they're like number two, but I'm not. I'm really not sure. I'll hold it up to a Stacy 90, and then somebody can probably tell me what size they are. I think the Stacy 90s are like number five, so I would guess that these are probably number twos. So anyway, um, we'll go over the colors with you for a minute. This um, we've got two different colors here. This color that I'm holding in my hand is called translucent minnow, kind of like a ghost minnow hitch type of color. It's got a brown back and it's got this really cool transparent uh, um, pearl side on it. So it's got, you, can, you probably can't really see it in the camera, but it's got different colors. You can see that purple showing up just barely right there, but it's got um, some different colors as you flash it through the light. So this is, uh, and then it's got this, this white pearl belly. So this is a uh, translucent minnow. The next one we have here is olive back. Olive back is kind of like a, an IU color, I think. It's got this greenish uh, brown back fading into um, a stark white side and kind of like a, the, the, same, the same belly. And then it's also got this gold um, painted right, right behind the gill here. Looks like it's just airbrushed on there, just like a little dot. And uh, so this is olive back. Um, when you're rolling this thing through the water, it has a very, very um, good wobble to it. It wobbles back and forth like this. Um, in fact, I didn't even notice it until I got to do this review, until I started pulling out my lures for this. Um, when it was rolling through the water, I thought that it resembled the uh, I'm a flit very 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 closely just because of the the really wide wobble that it had the the rocking as it went through the water now it doesn't have like a a real erratic darting action in the water it just ha but it does have a real wide wobble in it but if you if you rip it it'll kind of just like smoothly rip through the water but if you slow roll it it'll it'll wobble really well now what I'm talking about as far as the I'm a flit is concerned because I noticed it, I thought it looked like an I'm a flit when it was rolling through the water and then I pulled out an I'm a flit to do this review. And then I looked at the body styles on them. And forget the lip, but they are pretty darn similar. And you might not be able to see, but they're both kind of flat sided. I mean, this one's relatively flat sided, and so is this one. They've got some curved uh, corners on them, but they're both relatively flat sided. Obviously, the I'm a Flip 120 is a little bit bigger, but it's a relatively flat sided rip bait. So you've got a flat side here, a flat side here, and a flat side here. This one's a little bit more rounded on the top than the I'm a Flip, but uh, this one also has a much shorter diving lip on it than the I'm a Flip. Excuse me. And, uh, and it comes up to um, a smaller point on the bait as well. Take a look at that bill. Now keep in mind, I, I picked this thing up for two reasons. The first reason why I even, I even picked it up to begin with, um, why I even took it off the, the peg in the store, 
was because of the lip because I'm look I was looking for something that had a relatively shallow diving lip on it so I can fish it more efficiently in some of the ponds that I fish just because in some of the spots and some of the ponds that I fish they're five feet shallow so <clears throat> I want to be able to not get hung up on the bottom so and I saw that 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 small that short diving lip there and I figured that it would be a relatively shallow diver and then when I went and I started looking them up and I started finding out how quote-unquote legendary they are um, and how desirable I guess they are I had to pick it up so and this one it just has a around around um, split ring on it but anyway um, the bill might might leave something to be desired for some people just because of the fact that it it looks like it might be easier to break but I want to I want to point out something that as far as the the new Daiwa stuff and the old Daiwa stuff this is like in the class of the old Daiwa stuff and then and then it doesn't even come in the same packaging or anything you're not gonna even find this stuff on Daiwa's website because it is relatively old I mean I think this this bait is at least it's got to be at least four years old probably closer to five or six years old so um, but it's not not to knock anything from the new Daiwa stuff because I'm just trying out the new Daiwa stuff and I've been pretty happy with it. But um, I will tell you that from the the Daiwa stuff that I have, um, this is this is more on par with like the Lucky Craft Jack All stuff, which rightfully so because it, it has that designer guy that that is uh, designing the stuff for the the other companies as well. So. Keep that in mind when when you're when you're looking at this bait versus their newer stuff. So check these things out if you guys can find them. Um, they have ones that have that have a little, they're a little bit shorter, but they have a longer lip on them, so they dive a little bit deeper. And then they have ones that resemble a pointer a lot closer. If I can pull out a pointer here, uh, they're they're around. Right right yeah, I'm not gonna dig one out for you, but anyway. They they have a, they have several different kinds, but I think that they're all going to be fantastic if you, if you pick them up. So and if anybody has ever used them or has them, let me know, man. I, I'd like to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Post a comment at the bottom. Um, I'd really love to hear what you guys have to say about them. So post a comment at the bottom. I will be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I'll be more than happy to try to find out. All right, guys. I will talk to you next week. Thanks. Hey guys, how many times am I going to forget to do this? This is four and three quarters of an inch with the ring and four and five eighths of an inch without the ring. I got to stop forgetting to do that. There we go. All right, guys. See you next week.